The transmission pressure control solenoid valve, also called a force motor, is in charge of regulating the transmission fluid pressure, depending on the ECM or TCM input. All pressure solenoids or PCS units are duty cycle controlled components. Do not apply 12 volt power to one of these units, or they will get ruined. These are very low resistance units, or in the range of 1 to 3 ohms. This is the reason why they are duty cycle controlled. PCS units have two wires and are directly connected to the ACM or TCM, which controls both sides of the PCS. This is the toughest of all solenoids. If prompted with a PCS performance or a stuck open or closed OVD2 code, the problem is not in the electronics. Look then for a mechanical or clogged fluid passage fault. A PCS circuit high code means that the ground is missing. A PCS circuit low code means that the power feed or 12 volts is missing. If you encounter these types of codes, including a circuit open or electrical code, do not rebuild or replace the transmission. Look for a broken wire, fuse, ignition switch, or relay fault. To test the PCS solenoid, do not apply power and ground. Simply do the following. Disconnect the transmission main connector. Apply power or 12 volts to one of the two wires. Then, using a multimeter, probe at the other wire. You should see 12 volts minus 0.3 to 0.6 volts, which is dropped by the solenoid coil itself. It is useless to perform a resistance reading, since these units are between 1 to 3 ohms. This is virtually impossible to read using a normal multimeter. A second test to perform on a PCS is to apply power and ground using a 9 volt square battery and measure the voltage across the two terminals. You should see from 100 to 300 millivolts present. The 9 volt battery is too small to damage the PCS so long as you don't leave it connected too long. Most PCS units will fail in an open circuit, meaning that the internal coil overheats and melts down. But sometimes, they short out completely. So by doing the 9 volt battery test, you can ascertain that the unit is not completely shorted. If so, it will not show any voltage or just 0.00 volts.